Carolyn Pila. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I'm also a psychologist. I um, have years of clinical experience. Um, I'm also um, the chair of the Department of Behavioral and Social Sciences at Arizona Christian University and the president of the Alliance. Joe Nicolosi, a clinical psychologist, founder of Reparative Therapy, and we are doing, uh, we're conducting a study together uh, of, of the uh, effectiveness of our work and we're getting some very good results already. Carolyn, can you tell us specifically what the methodological approach is? Well, technically, it's um, a longitudinal quasi-experimental repeated measures model at, uh, where we're, uh, and the quasi-experimental needs explanation. Um, it, it just, it's an experimental design that doesn't have random selection of participants. The participants are convenient samples from Joe's clinic. And the research question specifically that you'd be looking at? We're asking um, if there is change in well-being as a result of um, psychotherapy with clients presenting with distress, um, ambivalence, discomfort with their same-sex attractions. And we're also asking if there's change in their same-sex attractions. So am I correct, you're looking at the impact of psychotherapy on this particular population and where the change actually takes place? Yes, that's right. We will, and on a um, change in behaviors, change in thoughts, change in desires, feelings, and identity.